Center. Excellent. My name is Cheyenne Roloff, and on behalf of the Cambridgeshire Residence Group, thank you all for coming here today, and thank you for your support in fighting this cruel and regressive tax. We are drivers. We are passengers. We are bus riders. We are cyclists. And we are pedestrians. But most importantly, we belong to a community of concerned neighbors who have come together to stop this unfair tax that will make life harder and more expensive for Cambridgeshire's residents. The thousands of us gathered here today from all walks of life is proof that we will not stand for this crazy scheme designed by the uninformed and the ignorant, which benefits the wealthy and those who are privileged enough to live centrally in Cambridge. One counselor, I won't mention his name, <laughs> don't call me David Bajant, all right, yeah. He was quoted on next door as saying the aim was to make, make, a quote, I'm quoting here, make driving in Cambridge so difficult that people will abandon the ownership of private vehicles in favor of active travel. Unquote. End quote. <laughs> Vote him out. I don't know. What about the elderly? What about the elderly? What about the poorest? What about the day-to-day -day workers, people living in villages around Cambridge? Moms and dads caring for their families and others with complex transportation needs. The financial and social impact of this draconian tax will be devastating. The wealthy will be able to pay for their freedom, and those who can't, at least can't afford it, and depend on their cars, not only for their livelihoods, but for social interaction and other activities, will find their health, their well-being, and their life choices severely curtailed or shut down. David Bailey, who is chairman of two charities, Cambridge Older People's Enterprise, also known as COPE, and the RAP Association Cambridge Brands, has, has also something to say here, and I'd like to read his quote. COPE has been and still is fighting against loneliness and isolation amongst older people. Congestion charges will increase these problems. We are also providing in both COPE and the RAF branch the chance for members to socialize among varied groups of society. The poorer members of society will be even more at a disadvantage. David believes that the most disadvantaged members of society are the elderly and the impact of the congestion charge will be far reaching. So today um, I'm really grateful to have Sabrina, a rehab specialist.